Welcome to the Gibson Hotel. It's the morning after the All-Ireland. And James McCarthy, you were named the man of the match as Dublin completed a three in a row. It doesn't really get any better than that as a footballer, I imagine. No, no, it's, 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 it's great. and very proud to represent the team with that. And just, yeah, it's, it's nice, nice to get the recognition every now and then, I suppose. I was talking to Philly McMahon, your club teammate and your county teammate after the game yesterday. He said it was a it was a war zone out there. It was quite a battle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Every time we play Mayo, it was just really physical games. That's probably that probably be better than all yesterday. You know, it was just one of them games. It was end to end, and it was just it was hard hitting. It was just tough, 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 tough game now. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can see by your eye there. It was hard hitting. Um, talk to me about how you keep your composure, how you keep cool, how you stick to whatever game plan you might have come up with during a game like that that's so fast so frantic and so loud as well I imagine it was actually quite hard to hear your teammates in that kind of noise yeah no like there's, just, there's no communication really in the days of that it's just it's communicating with your eyes and your body language and stuff like that so um, how, how we I don't know I'll be honest with you I suppose, like, I, for me what I think it is it's, we're a really tight group um, got together six seven years ago now at this stage Um been through it all really, ups and downs, wins and losses and just I just I think to be about him is if, if some guy's not playing well, some other guy will step up to play and at different stages different guys make plays and we need it. So um I think that just goes over the line there yesterday. We didn't play particularly well again and not all our own final but we just it was our grit and determination and it just got through in the end, you know. It was your cam and I guess your ball use as well. And that's something that you obviously work very hard on in training. Now when I say you work hard on it, does that come in drills, does that come in training matches? You know, how does that work? Yeah, like I suppose, even from when I started playing at first, the game has changed a lot. Like you know, whereas it would have been kind of man-to-man football, you know, not that much tactical side to it. It's completely changed now. Obviously with like blanket defence and stuff like that. So it's just something we had to practice over the years, and um, it's just, it just you can't go many miles an hour. Sometimes you know you have to slow down and keep possession and have a bit. Think with your head sometimes, knock out, knock out your heart if you like. So, um, yeah, it's just something I suppose. It's just a bit of training, training. I suppose goes, goes through, you know. And you've evolved individually as well. You would have been a wing back when you started. Now you're very much a midfielder. Talk to me about how your game has changed. What you like about midfield? What suits you about that kind of midfield region? Yeah, I suppose it's just it's it's a different type of running in the midfield than, than half back. Like you're constantly running midfield, it's just up and down, up and down. You don't feel like at times you're running particularly fast. That's that's uh, I find it hard to change gears really. But um, yeah, I suppose you get you get a little bit more freedom. I guess you're not kind of bogged down marking a guy the whole time. So that's probably the, the, the big difference is really. Um, look, I'm just happy to be playing. I, like I, I do whatever is best for the team. I'll, I'll do you know. So um, whether it's midfield or halfback, I don't mind. But um, just, there's not major differences. Like it's just. A little bit more running midfield, that's all. <laughs> your legs be sore after. <laughs> I'm sure they are, as will your eye be, be. And we'll get to that as well. Talk to me about completing a three in a row. Uh, before the game, it wasn't something that I know you built up as a squad. It wasn't something you talked about collectively. Was it a motivation to you as an individual? Were you kind of aware of the historical significance of it and how, if you were part of a team that did it, you'd kind of always have a place in history? Well, you had that anyway, but yeah. you know this was going to even ram it home even more, that yeah, place. Like, like you can say... Like, it's very hard to avoid all the talk and stuff like that. You just you got to accept it and realize that's what's that's on the line, I suppose. And the sooner you do that, I think it's the, the quicker you relax and stuff. So, and of course, like of course, you wanted to be in three in a row. It's 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 no it's not easy done, and, and and it's a unique team to do in the GA. So, um, yeah, it was a big more more of a factor personally, and, and um, it makes it a little bit easier going training every every week as well. As you know, it's that's that's dangling at the end, you know. So. Um, yeah, look, it's just it's, it has to be so game with you. Some game with me, to be honest, yeah. And just yeah, it's just it's, it's a nice thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something to look back on and, and to remember fondly. Yeah. And, and that's that's I won't say it's funny that you should mention it, but people think that kind of you know losing makes you hungry. It seems to be that winning makes this Dublin team hungry. Can you explain that? Well, like go back to 2011 was the first year we won, and it's incredible feeling. And I think the big thing is it gives you a bit of belief, gives you a bit of you know, once you get a, once you get one, you want to get, you want to get, you don't be known as that team, but they only done one, you know. So you want to come back and and, and and try and do it again. And I suppose it's just, it's a bit of insatiable hunger you get when you, you know what it feels like when you do it the first time, and it's just that's why you want to keep going, going back, you know. And like, like I say, you don't want to be known as that team that won one or or, or two. You want to be, hopefully, be known as one of the, the great teams. So. Now I said I'd come back to it. I'm, I'm, I'm good on my word here. I'll stick to my word. What happened to the eye? I, thought, yeah, I, I tell you, if, if I do, actually, I have no idea. I 
it must be a clash or something. I would yeah. imagine with an elbow or something, but that's the type of game it was. So when you give them, you got to take them every now and then, you know. So that's well, that's true. I, I had a chat with Seddon Connell after the game, and he said he was on the sideline. He had never seen such physicality. Now he wasn't saying dirty; he was saying physicality. He said, football. "Yeah, he could just hear the collisions." Mm. Did you get a sense of that? Was it uh, one of the most you, physical you, games you ever played in? You knew early on that she could catch her breath the first 20, 25 minutes. You know, it was just helter skelter stuff and. Um, yeah, like I said, it wasn't. Yeah, if, if you weren't willing to go in and hit, take a few hits, you, you had no, no right being there. So that's just the type of game it is. And we've no bare men on our own side to play like that, and no, there's no bare men on the male side to play like that. So that, that's just a big respect on, on, on both sides from that, that point of view, you know. And just before I let you go, obviously your teammate Dean Rock is standing over a free with about six minutes gone in injury time if he lands it. At that stage, you're probably thinking we're most likely going to win the All Ireland. What were you thinking as he stood over it? I was praying. I think oh, I was like, please God, kick it over. But um, yeah, I, I look, he back Dean. He's pretty cool. Um, those situations, you know, like he might miss one or two, but when it comes to the, the crunch, you, 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 you know, ninety nine percent of the time, I'd be pretty sure he still over. And I was right behind him when the mini kicked, and he was going over. So it was, it was, it was sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. James McCarthy, really appreciate your time. That's it from the Gibson for the moment. Thank you for watching and congratulations to James McCarthy and his fellow dubs. Cheers,